In this episode, we'll be making the counter for the score and a start menu. Let's get started. So first of all, we'll be using the counter by Shift Click Learn, another Scratch YouTuber, and he made a really good counter recently. So I'll just put this link in the description. You can check it out, and you can just click on See Inside, and you can get this sprite. Now you can just put it in Backpack. Open Backpack and put counter here. Now when you go in your project, you can just click on backpack and get this sprite. Here you can make some changes. First of all, replace this value variable with score variable everywhere. So just remove value, put score. Even in this, change value to score. Here it should be score, here it should be score, and even here it should be score. And that's it. This is a really good counter because you can change the size here, X and Y with spacing. Even center align is available. So here I have some values, just put Y to 155 here and as you can see when we start the game we have a nice counter which shows our score and that's it for the counter we don't need to do anything else if you want to know more about this counter you can check out this video right here it is a really good video and now we'll make the start menu which is right here I've imported the start menu asset so you can just get it from the link in the description part 2 assets so let's just name it start menu and as you can see we have layout we have title we have title 2 we have play button we have settings button we have question mark like which is the help button we have the how to play menu it is pretty obvious but we gotta make it then we have the close button so as you can see this is the layout if I just bring them at front, this is how your game will look. So we will have a cookie title here. Then we have a mania title here. We'll make an animation that just goes like this at the same time like this. Then we have play button, settings button and here will be our how to play button. So let's just make it. So first of all, when the green flag clicked, we know the drill hide. And when I receive start game again, hide. Now we'll be working with clones. And to do that, now we'll make a block which is called the build block. To know more about this block, you can just check out this video, but I'll just briefly explain it in this video. So make a block and name it build. Then add a number or text input, name it num. Then another label named start and another number input named start. One without screen defy should be checked. Click on OK and here we have it. Now make a variable called clone number for this sprite only click on ok set clone number to start also delete this value variable i just forgot then repeat build number times create clone of myself and above that change clone number by one what this will do is basically create clones above each other and each clone will have a separate script of what it should do when it is created watch this video to know more about the script but that's what it basically does now to use it you can just put the block here and build the amount of things we want so what do we have here we have two titles three buttons so we'll just put here five and start from zero when i start as a clone go to front layer and show now we'll just put here if then an equal to operator clone number is equal to one so when the first clone is created immediately it will just detect if it is the first clone and if it is it will run the script inside this so we'll just put a switch to costume title one now we want the title to slide in from the left side which is title one is this one so we want it to slide in from left so to do that you can just put your go to x and we can just put your negative 240 to the extreme left and y should be maybe around 115 now you can just put your glide to maybe 0.25 seconds to x 0 and y 115 now let's see if it works so you can just put your build one also i just forgot just put the build block here because we will be starting the game with the play button and i'm really stupid i put this in when i receive start game thing so just remove this block and when the green flag here it will just do this now go to cookie first of all and remove this broadcast start game and now you will see we have this cookie thing here it is going in the right too much so you can just decrease this like maybe x should be like negative 150 or 75 50 okay 50 looks good and that's how you can do it maybe just make make glide 0.1 seconds so it will look better then you can just duplicate this and put it here and set if clone number is equal to 2 now we'll work with title 2 which is actually in the right so now we can just replace the values like instead of 2 may negative 240 you can just put your 240 and instead of negative 50 you can just put your 50 and build number set build number to 2 because we are making two clones now you can see uh let's change the y so let's have a gap of 50 maybe so 115 minus 50 gives 65 let's put 65 and let's see okay let's put 45 okay i think 45 looks good now this is a really good animation you can make it slower or faster by changing this value. I'll just put here 0.15 in both of them. Let's see now. 
yeah i think looks good and you might think why the counter is showing up just because we haven't made changes to it so let's just remove when the green flag clicked and instead put when i receive start game and just put here when the green flag clicked hide now you can see the counter is gone now duplicate this again and put it here if clone number is equal to 3 now the third thing we gonna make is the play button so just switch to costume play and remove this glide thing and just put set x to maybe negative 50 and y to maybe negative 100 and let's see where it lands you can see it is landing in the perfect place we wanted i think yeah i think it looks perfect and let's script this block so forever if else touching mouse pointer now whatever i put here will happen when the mouse touches the button and if it doesn't the else thing will occur now we can just put the block we put in the cookie which is set size to this block you can just drag this in start menu and here we have it you can just put your set size to 120 and duplicate this again and put it in else as to 100 for a more subtle effect you can just put a 110 instead of 120 now when you see we'll have this awesome effect now to make it functional we can just detect the click so if mouse down wait until not mouse down then if touching mouse pointer now everything that we put in this if statement will happen when we click on the play button so all we need to do is broadcast start game which will start the game but when the game starts we need to delete the start menu and to do that you can just put your when i receive start game delete this clone so the clones will just delete and let's see when we click on play the start menu disappears and we have the game working that is really nice now duplicate this again and put it here clone number equal to 4 now the fourth thing is the settings button which is this one so now we don't have a settings menu yet so we'll just put a broadcast start game for now and we'll move on to the help button we'll duplicate this and put it here switch to costume help button now we want it to be in the bottom right which i think is x 120 and y minus 160 also put here 5 and go up and set the build number to 5 let's see just change x and y a little bit and yeah i think this looks good now when you click on it it starts the game but we want it to show this menu to do that just remove this block broadcast start game and make a variable called how to play menu open with a question mark if the value of this variable is one that means the menu is open and if it is zero the menu is closed so we'll just set how to play menu open to one and to actually open it we'll just set clone number to 6 and create clone of myself now this will create the clone of the how to play menu and then it should just hide and it will just then wait until then put an equal to block how to play menu open is equal to 0 so it will wait until the menu is closed and then it will show so put here show and now we'll code the menu so just duplicate this and put it here if clone number is equal to 6 switch to costume how to play menu and go to x0 and y0 which will be in the center now just remove all of this if statement thing and in the forever loop here put if then an equal to operator how to play menu open is equal to 0 so if this variable is 0 which means the menu is closed it should just delete itself because it is the menu now let's try this you can see we have the button when you click on it it shows the menu but how can we close it so let's make a close button so now we have to duplicate a button thing so just remove this one and duplicate this one and paste it all the way down here below the how to play menu and set it to 7 now join this with the main script and here we are so switch to costume close button then go to x maybe negative 50 and y should be maybe 100 and now remove all these things and just put your set how to play menu open to 0 which will close the menu and also delete this clone so it will delete itself as well you can just go back to this help button script this is the fifth clone and remove this duplicate these two blocks and put it here set clone number to seven and create clone on myself then put these three blocks back in and now let's see so when we click on help it brings out this menu the button is not correctly placed in this position but it works so when we click on it the menu closes let's fix the position of the close button so it should be i think negative 115 and y should be around 143 you can see it works here also go up in the script and when the green flag clicked just set how to play menu open to zero so we make sure it is actually closed when we open the start menu now our start menu is basically done at this point because you can see it works really well it animates really well but we need one more thing we need the cookies falling background which we see in the game in the 
start menu to do that you can just go to the polling background cookies sprite and here remove this script from when i achieve start game remove this block remove hide and just put it in when the green flag clicked now you will see it will work in the start menu which looks awesome and that's pretty much it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed and actually learned something today and i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching